Morning, Hustle Show. L'Oreal, we are at the BET Awards, the media house. And we have somebody very special in the building with us. Vic Mensa is here. What's up, man? My how guy, good to see you. how are you? I'm chilling. How are you? I love talking to you. We Me always too. have some great conversations. And What's last up? time you was on the Morning Hustle show, you talked to us about Victor, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. What's going on with the album right now? I'm working on a new album right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And uh, see, I'm pretty deep in the process. Are you? Know? you? I've been producing a lot, like producing a lot of my own music right now. Mm-hmm. Just. Get creative, you know what I mean? Well, we see you every week on television, though. We see that. Doing that, too. We see yeah, the shot. Sure. We see the shot. We see you getting real steamy on the shot, too. Hold on. Let me put these back yeah, on. Yeah, put your glasses <laughs> back on. Get ready. She said steamy. Yeah, I mean, things was getting steamy in that kitchen with you and Lala, Sheesh. yeah. Yeah, right. When they have <laughs> situations like that, is it a little awkward? Because I know you know Lala, and you, mm-hmm. do you have conversations where you're like, all right, I'm going to put my hand right here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. You definitely got to be, like, you know, just communicative. Like, the yeah. communication has got to be got to be good. But ultimately, like, we have a real good time doing it. And it's like, our communication is great. It's never weird, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I think sometimes just acting and receiving feedback from directors and being in intimate situations, it could be weird or awkward, but we really just laughing and having a good time about yeah, it. Yeah, you know yeah. It's all good at yeah. the end of the day. The shy has been really good this season. Your character has totally like evolved into a whole new person. Word. Are we going to see more of your character's evolution? Yeah, we're actually working on uh, working on more right now. You know what I'm saying? So, like I you said... That adding people to the cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you said, you know, the shy is out right now. It's on Paramount Plus with Showtime. Showtime plan. And I think the finale is about to air. No, what am I going to do? <laughs> no, I'm not going to have anything to watch. Then, uh, yeah, I think... You got uh, something else coming? I do, actually. I, I was um, on this season of Bel Air. That's coming oh, out soon. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's coming. We spoke to Coco yesterday. Yeah. And uh, she told us a little bit about Bel Air. Yeah. I'm excited to see that as well. How was that? So, is the... Is there a big difference when it comes to preparing for your roles when it comes to mm. The Shy versus Bel Air? You know, the thing about my role on The Shy is like, you know me, so you yeah. know that my role on The Shy is very congruent with like my real life right. in a lot of ways. Right. So it's like really emotionally connected. So when I'm preparing for that, it's like I just be bringing myself into the emotions of my experiences, changing it a bit. It's drama, though, you know? Yeah. Like, my, my, my role on Bel Air to not give away too much is not, it's not as heavy, you know? Okay. So it's a different preparation because, like, on the shy, it's like bringing myself into a really emotional space right. for a lot of it. You know, I killed somebody. I never killed nobody, you know what I mean? Fans, yeah, you said it was the same. You sure? <laughs> <I'm just> Rico. <laughs> right. I keep that careful. Rico off me. Be you know careful. I mean? um, yeah, but, you know, just going through things, like, for real, like, yeah. being counted out or being, like, uh, persecuted or labeled in different ways. Like, yes. that's what I experienced in the shy. So it's entering those emotions from my real life and bringing them over to the character. Like there's a there's a classic acting method that's called the Stanislavski method. Okay. And that's like the kind of quintessential theory of acting that most teachers use in different mm-hmm. ways. Mm-hmm. And it's um in so many ways it's like synthesizing the emotion of your life and giving it over to the character, you know right, what I mean? Putting right. my own words into the script. Like, I spend a lot of time just studying it. You take your stuff seriously. I take it seriously, you, you know what I'm saying? Play. Like, you might catch me just walking around the neighborhood, talking to myself all crazy, <laughs> and people be like, what's going on with him? But yeah, I just... Because <laughs> <is there>, <laughs> I try to not focus on the, on the words too much and just hold conversations, like, just talk to myself yeah. about, like, what my character's going through. So when I'm preparing for the role... Or preparing for an episode where I need to like enter emotions of like shame, you know yeah. what I mean? I go through it and I'd be like just talking. I'd be like, man, 
I'm ashamed that I killed this man mm. and like and that I ran off after I shot him, you know? Right. And so in this situation with Lala, you know, I'm looking to build a family because I spent all this time in a cell imagining what it would be like, right. you know what I mean, to find love. And so those are just the conversations. Like I had a teacher who told me the world's behind the words. It was like what you want to focus on. Like the words are one thing. And you know this because yeah. you got a script, but like you dance around it That's right. and you give context from your own experience as mm -hmm. a music artist, as a creator, and you make the people feel it. You know what right. I mean? If you was just reading your script, then you wouldn't be the Anybody one the way you are. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like Cricket. they keep <laughs> you keep rising you because you feel it. your your own personality in between. You got their lines, but it's like it's you that's yeah. coming through. Yeah, that's what I try to so do with the I'm, actor. I'm assuming that your role on Bel Air is gonna be more lighthearted, more funny. Is it gonna be more of a? Are we gonna get like a softer side of it? It's not, not necessarily it's not, it's funny, not really but like a funny, softer. but it's definitely not as it's not as heavy. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah. I'm excited to see this because I want to see the di different dynamics of you acting because I think you're doing a really amazing job. Thank you. Thank and you. I can't wait to see more roles from you. And you know how, because I think about even to go to Fresh Prince, how Carlton, oh, see, I called him Carlton. <laughs> uh, what, is it? I think this is why people don't call him by his name because is it Alberto, Alfonso Roberto? There Alfonso. we go. Alfonso. He right, was okay. upset because people call him Carlton, but right. I'm like, you played the role so well. You identify with he the Carlton, role. Eh? Yeah. But I understand that needing he to for good. do other things. That's how I feel. I, that's I, how I feel. Too. Man, he gonna but be dancing in my mind. How would you feel if you were called just by your character all all the time, and you know, you done other things man you know i was in paris the other day and i like sat down at a late night restaurant you know what i mean mm -hmm. like 2 3 a.m or something and uh a dude in the corner of this restaurant was like man i love you on the shy yeah you know and then i went and i listened to your music through that and uh i, I thought that's that fire. was dope you know what yeah, i mean i thought that was fire. dope i was like man you know because ultimately like i'm a creator you know what i mean i'm an artist so if I can express myself in these different ways, like beyond everything, I'm I'm a rapper. I do that amazingly, mm -hmm. but like, really, I'm just like a human being. I'm right. I'm, I'm an artistic human being. Mm -hmm. So the only way I can express myself is not one of these things. Like right. I feel like I could do all these things. What about okay, you have other things, other business ventures that you're you're into. You have a cannabis line, even yeah. though you yourself. Do not indulge, right? So, but that's okay. I've been smoking recently. Have you? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Selling it all day and night. You I know knew mean? it. I was like, it's only a matter of time because it's good. Yeah, like, no, I, been, I got me a good. Oh little, yeah, I gave you some yeah, weed. We used to smoke last was time. Yeah, no, I'm selling I, no, it all I day and night. I've been smoking. I waited to 4:20 yeah. to light that oh, thing up. Oh, you did? Up. Yes, wow. I did, and it was hitting too. I couldn't even finish it, and that's not like me. So, what made you get into the cannabis uh, world at all? Well, you know, I started selling weed when I was a little kid, yeah. like probably 11 years old, you know, bad as hell, just like, I was even, I'd break down blunts and try to sell blunt guts as weed, <laughs> like, try to force people to buy it, you know, <laughs> That's five, two as hell, you know. That is fucking um, funny. So that was my first hustle, you know, and so yeah. when it became legal, I was like, I'm going to figure this out. Right. You know what I mean? I'm going to be a part of this. So is it going well for you? Yeah, it's going you super well. to expand? Uh, is that like I want to come to New York. That will be fire. Yeah, that's what I want to yeah. do. Maybe you know some people that, I think I can hook that you are up getting busy people. in I New York. I actually know Gumbo, so well, I can hook you up with Gumbo. Yeah, I would love to. I want to come to New York because New York is just the newest you know, frontier. I mean, New York is like so classic in weed yeah, culture too like fact. sour the diesel <laughs> he used to be walking down the street they could be like sour diesel sour diesel <laughs> sour diesel <son."> sour diesel <laughs> I'm like yo you've been saying this for 10 years nigga are y'all gonna sell something else they gotta sell something else. It's, it's gonna be sour D thing. nigga <laughs> any block yeah. to the point where New York inspired you to want to sell weed like just to a person on the street because uh -huh. there's so many hustlers and I feel like New York is a city of hustlers though. It is a city of hustlers. So it makes sense that the weed industry, the legal weed industry in New York right. would be like exciting because it's a city of hustlers though. But you're a trendsetter. 
And one thing you're doing is you're a part of the first ever BET culture class. Ooh. Tell me what that is. What does that mean, the culture class? Yeah, so the BET culture class is a class that they created surrounding the BET awards. We got together, shot a bunch of content, you know, did different interviews and basically like highlighting creatives and cultural influencers in different facets. I'm on there, Speedy's on there, a stylist named Tunde is on there, there's a yeah. few different stylists, people just representing in different ways. And I think like the purpose and the point of it is, yeah, standing on culture, highlighting the people that are doing things in different parts of our culture. Because our right. culture is so vast, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's, I think it's a great thing because in that way, we're taking ownership of our own culture, which mm -hmm. is historically a problem with our culture, is that like we often don't dictate what is celebrated in our culture, what's profited from in our culture. You know, it's a puppet game a lot of the time. Yeah. So it's good to see BET, like, taking steps, creating new avenues to celebrate our culture. Mm -hmm. And you've always been a trendsetter with a lot of things. Now you look on Instagram, everybody want to go to Ghana. <laughs> you were telling go. people, which is cool. <laughs> Obviously, that's, that's the whole goal, yeah. right? Yeah, but, yeah. Um, you know... I know you had your festival popping. I know you continue, you're going to continue to keep that going. Mm. Can you tell us anything about it this year? I, I believe you said you was going to move it. Yeah, we was working on moving to Jamaica, but I think we're going to stay in Ghana. So when the Black Star Line Festival is returning, you'll be one of the first to know because you got to come this time. I got to be there. Yeah. I got to be there. I'm excited for you, for everything you have coming. I appreciate also, that. I'm excited uh, for you, too. <laughs> You make me laugh all the time. I want to get a question for you from the awards perspective, yeah. right? Now, say we gave the, say it was the Vic Mensa Awards instead of the BET Awards. You have one award that you could give away to one artist for this year. Who shut down 2024? Who you, who do you feel like had the best year this year? Damn, who am I giving, giving an award to? I can't call it, but my manager just said Boss Man d -Lo is speaking for the streets. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but man, he said he knows the exact hood nigga. That's right. That feels everything I'm that agree. dude be saying. So I'm going to have to agree with that. I mean, like, soon as it comes on, everybody going crazy. You changing your accent to talk like him and everything. <laughs> Can we see a link up between the two of y'all? For sure. Yeah. yeah. I like your hair. Thank you. You look raw. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good color on you. They, I appreciate it. Florida. Florida? Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Yeah, she gave the exact block. <laughs> she, okay, so Tallahassee. The Tallahassee Florida. hero. Shout out to T-Pain. Yeah, so it makes sense because they got their own wave of stuff down mm -hmm. there, just like the shy. Wow. The, the best place to go eat. For sure. Chicago? <laughs> the, Chicago, the best place good to go food. eat. Tell the really people where they could go if they're going to Chicago and they need to go get a, a good plate. I'm going to send them where I sent you, to Gino and Marty's. We yeah, had a good time oh over there, God. right? You sent me to the best we restaurant We had fun over ever. there. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to get into the restaurant industry? Yeah, we actually are putting a restaurant together right now. Okay, so when yeah. can we expect to go in there and dine? That'll be soon, <laughs> man. We, we, uh, we're doing an event for it like this upcoming week. It's going to be called La Vida. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, this coming week? That means it's... No, the, the, the restaurant's not coming out yet, though. But that, it's like That'll be, like, later situation. in the year. We're going to do a pop-up situation. I love that. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Good luck on everything. Big Mensa, Morning Hustle you. Show. No doubt. Good to see you. We, we are the Morning Hustle.